Hey guys, long time no see, but here we are. Um, not doing a pick card today. I decided to do something a little bit different and I'm going to do readings for all of the signs for the month of November. I know it's a little bit late. I have been sick, so I didn't get to do it as soon as I wanted to, but hopefully this should make all of the videos, you know, pretty concise, short, simple, straightforward whatever so let's dive in okay so scorpio these are your messages for the month of november let's dive in okay we have fast vistas expand your horizons we have begin now take your first step and we have voyage of the heart love flows through you and to you okay so you guys scorpio i feel as so though You've been wanting to make some serious changes. You've been wanting to make some drastic moves in your life, like big, big changes. You guys are the sign that I really associate with like change and transformation and, you know, death and rebirth. And you guys, this is definitely in Scorpio fashion. I feel as though this season is about, or this month of November is about expansion for you guys. Okay, it feels like a very positive month overall. It feels like there's some really big themes coming through for you, which I'm sure we'll see with the tarot. Okay, but whatever changes you've been wanting to make, whatever um, steps you've been wanting to take, okay, that you've been putting off especially or you've been overthinking or over planning or trying to wait for the right timing and whatever, now's the time to start. Now's the time to take those steps, take those actions, okay? Especially if you've been putting it off. Um, the time to put things off, like it, it, it's no longer time to fuck around. That's what I'm hearing, you know what I mean? It's time to really get things moving. It's time to take those first steps and it's time to do something, you know, think outside of the box. So this is about stepping outside of your comfort zone and stepping outside of your usual routine and your usual ways of operating. So doing something that's vastly different, okay, something that might be a little bit of a shock to the system. Okay, so if there's anything that's like that that's been playing on your mind, now's the time to do it, okay? Love flows through you and to you. So yes, there's some big themes coming through this month. I also feel like this is going to be a very healing month for you guys. Okay. So we have the Six of Swords. We have the Hierophant in reverse. We have the Magician in reverse. We have the Devil in reverse. And we have the Sun in reverse. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> wow. So there's some big themes themes coming through this month I feel like this is going to be a lot of shadow work for you guys obviously I feel as though when there's big themes coming up that's you know kind of Scorpio themed it's not going to be easy okay but it's going to be worth it and it's a big part of your growth and it's going to really bring a lot of blessings along the way okay so we have the six of swords and this is about moving forward a transition you know a rite of passage it might feel a bit reluctant or it might feel a bit icky or it feels like you know you're moving into uncharted waters so it's hard to know what the next steps are it's hard to you know find certain guidance upon this because it's like you're doing stuff that has not been done before you're doing some radical shit which is truly in Scorpio fashion right the Hierophant in reverse, I feel like you guys are moving on and breaking away from traditional structures. You may be walking away from, you know, traditional expectations or traditional ways of doing things, particularly in matters of religion and spirituality. I feel like you guys are really breaking the mold this month. So don't be afraid to make those leaps and bounds. There's going to be people that are going to misunderstand you. There's going to be people who disagree with you and who feel triggered by you or project their expectations onto you. And that's never nice. I'm not going to say that that's going to be easy, but this is necessary work because 
you know, if anyone needs to see this happen, especially with all the naysayers, it's you. And then you need to like show them that they're all fucking wrong, if you know what I mean. Okay. So with that, there's the potential to feel a little bit cut off from your power. It's not that you're cut off from your power. It's just that you're reimagining it. Okay. And you're reinventing yourself, the way that you operate and the way that you create magic, the way that you manifest. This is going to feel a little bit of like a little bit of a struggle for you, but this is necessary. These two tie in together. Well, these three really, I feel as though the more that you can break away from traditions and expectations and really forge your own path, that's what this is about. So it might feel like, again, uncharted waters, you're doing something new. And this might actually, for some of you, be to do with your craft. You may dive into some chaos magic, which is like quite experimental, right? I really encourage you to like follow your own gut with this and don't let what other people say throw you off and it might even be best just to not even give people the opportunity to put their two cents in if that makes sense this is your craft this is your beliefs your spirituality okay know that this feeling cut off or feeling slowed down with your power is not going to last long and it's really just about forging and reimagining your own path so it is uniquely yours and it is so I feel like it's your like creating a new way if that kind of makes sense and you're going to help others to do so but you need to just focus on you at the moment there's also the need to there may be a little bit of a struggle with um, addictions or addictive behaviors toxic attachments things like that these old things that are coming up some of you may be struggling with sobriety or substance use okay and this is old stuff it's coming up again which again it's just like true Scorpio fashion where it's coming up for that shadow work you know it's coming up for that review but having said that make sure that you are doing what you need to do to support yourself don't be too hard on yourself know that what's coming up this month is actually helping you to release these things once and for all really breaking away from those addictions really breaking away from those toxic attachments if that kind of makes sense it might feel a little bit difficult to connect with your positivity this month. You might feel like you're a little bit cut off from your innocence, from your joy, from your freedom. Okay. And that's why this is so important. Breaking away from traditions, structures and expectations is actually going to create more freedom for yourself down the track. But it, what might be triggering it is feeling a lack of freedom, feeling a lack of innocence, feeling a lack of agency over your own life. Um, but yeah, you might find that it's a little bit difficult to connect with that joy and that positivity. And that's OK. That's OK. That won't last. Just know that that's a part of this kind of process. And it's a part of what's pushing you to do this work here, if that kind of makes sense. All right. So we have full moon in cancer, a personal issue reaches resolution. Okay. And we have new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So yeah, it feels like whatever's going on here, I feel like whatever's triggering this kind of situation where you're like, no, I need to forge my own path. I need to walk away from this kind of structure and tradition, especially if it's around your craft, you know, um, your religious stuff spirituality stuff even family stuff whatever's going on there um that you've been struggling with it is going to be resolved this month or you it, it may not be resolved with those relationships but you'll find your own inner resolution here um and that's the most important and first step really know that luck is on your side as well okay so shoot your shot this month shoot your shot Okay, so I really hope that these messages have served you guys and really help you this month. Um, let me know how they go for you. Make sure that you like and subscribe and follow my Instagram. And if you would like a personal reading, make sure that you go and check out my website. I also have some spells available for Scorpio season that are Scorpio themed. Um, so make sure you go check them out. 
I also have um, a group spell that I'm doing on the new moon in Scorpio. So if you want to learn more about that, jump on my Instagram. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to move on.